Hello everyone. Wanted to demonstrate some low flow sampling using a bladder pump in conjunction with the field sink. I've been asked that question many, many times and I figured I'd put together a short video explaining the setup and the operation. The pump I'm going to be using today is the Geotech Environmental Equipment Bladder Pump. It's a stainless steel pump. And of course inside you have a bladder which looks like this. Now what happens is water is allowed to fill inside the plastic sleeve and then air is forced down well via compressor which lives inside this Geo Control Pro unit. And this controller powers on the compressor and then controls the fill time, the fill time to, it takes for water to fill inside that bladder and then discharge time which is the amount of time of the squeeze of the bladder and they'll discharge the water up and into a discharge bucket to purge and to collect your samples. Power to the unit is provided via 12 volt power. One end plugs into the unit, the control unit, and the other end plugs into the 12 volt battery that's supplied. There are also alligator clips with an adapter to connect to a vehicle, and there's also 110 power adapter as well if you want to plug into 110 power source. The tubing I'm using today is also manufactured by Geotech Environmental Equipment and in my opinion is the best tubing out there. Now it's considered bonded tubing where the air line and the water line are bonded intermittently. So as you can see there's a bond here. Now the beauty of this tubing is that it's strippable so you can see how easily it strips apart from each other and again it's intermittent but you can see how easily it strips. Now I know a lot of you in the field has struggled with separating these two tubes by cutting it with a blade but then you end up cutting into either the water line or the air line. Um, so again this is a this is a great feature for geotex tubing. There are two tube fittings at the top of the geotech bladder pump. One is for the air, that's the blue line, and the other is for the water discharge. So air is provided via the blue line that compresses the bladder and then once squeezed the water will go through the natural line to discharge into your discharge bucket. Once the two tubes are connected to the top of the pump, the pump can be lowered down into the well. There's also a stainless steel cable provided for added support if needed. Now once you've separated the air tube from the water tube, the air tube can be inserted into this quick disconnect fitting labeled air, and that's going to be your air feed to the pump. We can now install the water discharge tube into the field sink by removing the tube guide and taking the water tube and simply snapping it into the tube guide. Once it's snapped in and secure, you can then take the tube guide and install it into the workstation base. There's one more step I'd highly recommend before starting your discharge, which is to take the stability cord included with the field sink kit, attach it to one anchor point on the workstation base, slide it through the tube guide, through another anchor point on the workstation base, and then into a cord lock. Slide the cord lock, tighten, and it really provides added security for the tube guide so that there's little to no movement. With it all set up, you're now ready to turn on the compressor by using the GeoControl Pro. Now I have the fill time set at 10 seconds and I have the discharge time set at 5 seconds. With the tube secured and the pump working, we're now ready to collect our samples.